my raft and my PVC boat launcher, it's because it's been so wet this year. So let me update you on the boat launcher. Some of you may have noticed on my boat dolly when I would launch the raft or I would try to bring it back in that between the air and the tires and the air and the PVC pipe, it would float. Well, thanks to a viewer, and you would have thought I would have thought of this myself, but they suggested drilling a couple holes in these top supports to let the water in, and uh, then it'll drain back out. Now, I may also put one down here in the bottom. So what I'm going to simply do is on the end caps, I'm going to drill quarter inch holes right in the center. So again, just a quarter inch hole. I may end up making it larger, but I'm going to test that. But with one being on both ends of the uh, supports for the boat dolly, and then one under here to let the air back in or out and let the water out, I think that'll work just fine. I wanted to mention, I've had some questions on these uh, Harbor Freight inexpensive tires. I've had this for over a year. It still held the air. I've loosened this up. Let's see if I can get it to come off. This needs to be a, uh, a locking nut on the outside. Then when you get inside here, let's see if I can back this out. Okay, you can see this nut actually fits inside that smaller piece of PVC. Now if you want, you could put a washer behind this. I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can unscrew this to show you. Okay. You could get a washer that is the same size as the inside PVC pipe. See how that slides in and out? So you could put a washer right there that this could screw into. And in hindsight, that's probably a better idea. So you take this off, insert the washer, and then tighten this down. And what I've done is I've just tightened it so it goes inside that inner PVC pipe. Now I'm pulling the other one towards me. And then, again, you could put a washer there too. But this kind of has one built in, but it wouldn't hurt to have a washer right there. Because this has bearings, this spins on its own. So once it's on there, you could push it up against a, uh, another washer. And then this, having that locking nut on there, will hold it secure. Now obviously, it's not secure now, I need to get a wrench and get it on the other end and tighten them both down. I hope that clarifies that just a little bit. Well, that's the latest update on the PVC boat dolly. If you're interested in this vice bench from Harbor Freight, I have another video that shows when I put it together. Pretty simple process, but that video is out there also. I'll let you know how this works as soon as I can get out on the water. Thanks for watching.